now you can see here um just wow. with two training areas we have pretty good results um on, on all those ponds crazy and even the 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 sea which is the upper part um got yeah, captured as it well that's a pond too <laughs> yeah it's like that's, that's a, pond, a, pond. a large pond and yeah. um and and as you usually now you you to do this you you need to task and labeling company in-house or, or, or external and and tell them and give them like literally thousands or even fan, tens of thousands of training images and and they mark all the ponds they they give you back the, the vectorized uh, annotation data and then you use this uh, with your in-house uh, machine learning engineers to train your ai and we all shortcutted this now in a couple of minutes by just me um, marking two it's training wild. areas. It's very dynamic. So if you think about it, if you were, say, Tesla building solar roofs and they have a tile for solar roofs that is like the Spanish tiles, the curved clay tiles that you see on, you know, uh, Spanish homes uh, or Mediterranean homes, you could mm -hmm. literally say, hey, you know what, California, Arizona, uh, Colorado are our main markets here's uh, you know just some sales executive <laughs> could go in here and say these are spanish tile roofs in you know the bay area los angeles san diego those are our highest end you know most mm -hmm. likely to buy a solar roof and these are the ones that break down the most and are most likely to and get the most benefit from it tell me all the spanish tile homes that don't mm -hmm. have solar but that exactly. uh, do have mm -hmm. spanish tiles and give me their addresses and that person could do that in an hour or less great example a uh, similar one um, we got, which is a little bit more complex, but similar um, mindset uh, and, and process, um, some large energy utility company asking us if we can identify potential locations, like location scouting for renewables, where to build gigantic wind parks, like with these huge wind wind turbines. They know they need a certain like um, uh, XY size of the, of the area, which should not be built with um, existing buildings. It should follow a certain topology, mostly flat, no mountains or, or forests nearby, which can shield off the wind and um, certain minimum distance to the next human settlement um, for like noise regulations. And also there should be a, a, a highway closer to whatever 500 meters so they can bring in the heavy construction machinery to build this wind park. And we all fed this into our uh, uh, basically um, AI. We, we use containers for that to run them in a lawnmower style over large areas of the planet to identify um, potential sites for where they can build such a wind park. Amazing. Yeah, the, I mean, and then you're going to be able to do this with voice and just say to it eventually, hey, you know, you have enough training data in here. Show me all the places I could have. I could build a new city. I just did a tweet the other day that went viral where I talked about, hey, you know, when I'm president, my first order of business is I'm going to create 10 cities and those 10 cities will have a million homes in each. I could actually use yours to say, Hey, find me 10 locations that could have a city hub with 500 apartments, then 200, 300 townhomes in the next ring, and then 200, uh, you know, 1000 uh, single family homes and make it, you know, and uh, that is near, you know, whatever, uh, within 100 miles of another city so that it could be a satellite city to that one. And boom, all of a sudden, you could tell me where to put my 10 uh, president Jason cities as part of my initiative, correct? Perfect. Now think of all the hedge funds uh, investing in shopping malls, identifying where there are not enough shopping malls yet. Yeah, or where shopping malls exist. I guess it would be interesting. Also, the changes you talked about how often things are updated and satellites are updated. Uh, you tell me, how, how often could you update the imagery of Taiwan in that example, uh, with the satellite mm -hmm. company you work with? Do they update the entirety of that every month, every year, every day. What's the state of the art today? Here in this particular case, the limit is not on our side. The limit is on the image acquisition. And uh, if you use satellite, um, uh, there are companies doing a daily update of the entire planet. Um, this there are companies increase. doing that. Wow. Which ones do that? Which companies? That's Planet Labs. Planet Labs, um, sure. They've been on the program, yeah. Yeah, they're not at the resolution yet, like this, the, the, the more static uh, uh, satellites are, but this is, I think, a matter of time. Uh, and also the, the, the cadence will, will increase, um, but you can use drones or, or aerials if you want to have that. And we, we made an experiment with, uh, with a client who, who wants to, they are from a very small country, I think 12,000 square kilometers, and they want to monitor building changes. Like when mm. new buildings had been built and um, we, solved this uh with like five gpus in the cloud it took five hours 
And then the client itself scaled it up using our backend to thousands of machines and they brought it down to minutes. So that's almost real time. That's insane. Because if you think about it, if you were doing uh, and listen, there's all kinds of privacy and surveillance issues here, I know, but let's put those aside for a second and think about the positive aspects here. If you were uh, living in a country where maybe some people were building buildings without going through the proper channels and making them safe, you think in an emerging or frontier market, they might be doing that. You could, in fact, every morning say to your building inspectors, hey, somebody's breaking ground here. There's a bulldozer in these seven different locations. They're building a foundation of these seven. We have permits for two. So these other five, we need to make a site visit today before they build this building. It, that's like literally, and then they could just stop them from building and say, hey, you got to be permitted to do this and make it safe, correct? Exactly. I think of like um, another type of, how is it called? Building uh, violations. Um, I recently went to the to the Middle East to to to, the, to KSA, and um, you, you know yourself about the, the gigantic uh, construction projects they're doing there, the Giga projects. Neom, yeah, and, yeah, and 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 one of the other uh, issues is um, people are, are building like crazy, and uh, some of them don't have the right permit for it, or build bigger than than they than they are allowed to, and uh, it's very easy to to use what we can detect and then conflate it with some city planning uh, cadaster or other other existing data and find out and pick up the ones who, who who should pay more taxes because they build more than they are allowed to. Yeah, I mean, the square footage determines your, your price. So you could actually estimate, hey, how did this change over time? What's the square mm -hmm. footage? Did somebody put an ADU or shed in? Is it properly done? You could also mm -hmm. do this for I know a lot of people are studying uh, deforestation or forestation where people are planting things so you, you can get a really accurate pulse on the trees being planted and that kind of stuff. So this is an internal tool you have. And it's called Orca Hunter. Why is it called Orca Hunter? Coming back to the founding story of Black Shark, when we built as a very first uh, uh, project, the, the Microsoft Flight Simulator, we had to develop all of the backend, all of the tooling ourselves. There was nothing and I still think there's nothing out there like that. And for us, it was the end product was this 3D world, this what initially I call digital twin, uh, which we're still working on at many great applications. But uh, when doing outreaches and talking with many, many potential customers, we found out all the intermediate steps we built to come to this digital twin is act are actually products on its own. And uh, Orca is our outtake of our geospatial um, uh, software solution and Orca Hunter. Is, is basically this first tool we are going to release uh, December 2nd for anyone uh, who wants to license it to upload their own images and, and do this, this scribble gray and approach. Oh, wow. So it's going to be a SaaS tool. I could basically, if I have images that I acquired from wherever, I could get it from a public satellite images. I could take, you know, uh, old images, you know, that might be in the public domain and I could upload it and pay you a fee just to use the tool. Yeah, even our team uh, for we did a LinkedIn posting for Thanksgiving where they uploaded the image of a, of a, of a pizza and did a pizza topping detection. Ah, the classification well, of pizza important. toppings. Yeah, you don't want to get into any of that pineapple uh, pizza. Business to business marketing is not an easy job. It's much different than business to consumer advertising. Why? Well, the enterprise buying cycles are very long and they're filled with decision makers. And those decision makers are going to kill your deal if you can't get to them. That's why you need to check out LinkedIn ads. LinkedIn has amazingly, but not unexpectedly, passed a billion users. This includes 180 million senior executives. There's also 10 million C-suite executives. Those are the CEOs, CFOs, CTOs, the chief strategy officers, chief finance officers. This means 18% of those users are the ones who are the decision makers. How do you get to them? You get to them through LinkedIn in a respectful business environment. They're ready to accept a business message as opposed to, you know, another platform where they might be consuming cooking videos or podcasts or political discourse. No, LinkedIn is about business. You want to get people when they're in that cognitive mindset and they're willing to accept a business to business message. 79% of B2B content marketers said LinkedIn ads produces the best results for paid media. This is obvious. I can tell you this is true. When you think about business, you think about LinkedIn. It's just exactly what comes to mind. So here's your call to action. Make business to business marketing everything it can be and get a hundred dollar credit towards your next campaign by going to linkedin.com slash this week in startups to claim your credit. LinkedIn.com slash this week in startups. No spaces, no dashes. LinkedIn.com slash this week in startups for a hundred dollars in credit terms and conditions do apply.